Hey everyone out there, it is another episode of the So Mixed Up Podcast. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Episode three. It's been three weeks now that we've been doing this, and we're really enjoying it. Um, it's a lot easier than I think either of us thought it would be. You know, we yeah, just it's been very difficult. It's stressful. Okay, it's stressful. It's very stressful. It's hard to come from the bed to the other bedroom <laughs> and sit I down know. and record. It's very stressful. <laughs> very, very stressful. Um, I think the hardest part of it was really just getting all the equipment and and um, just really. You know, buying things one by one and really wanting to do it, but you gotta, you know, want to make sure I did it the right way. Patience is key, babe. Exactly. So we got it up and running. We all good with it. So, um, what's been going on with you this week, Miss Margarita? Everything, everything in this world. Everything. Yes, the coronavirus. Everything. <laughs> everything. Everything. <laughs> no, I mean, school's back in session, so. It's still our last month, and it's a little stressful because everything is completely cut off. Hey. So, yeah. And then um, I just got back into work. I was on off for four days in a row. Not much. Yeah, I was on five yourself? days, and they went so fast. It felt like, I mean, I guess I enjoyed myself, but it really went fast. I was like, damn, back to work already. And even on the day I went back to work, I was like, remember, we was laying around, I was like, damn, it's 5 o'clock already, like, I already got to start getting ready for work. Yeah. So, it definitely went quick, but I did enjoy my five days. Um. Yeah. Granted, my check would be short, so I, I like, know. I lightweight wish I went to work, but then I'm like, nah, I really wanted to get See, that it's rest, like, so. No, it's like, you're like, you're at work, and you've been working nonstop, nonstop, you get your vacation, you're like, Yes. And then when you're on vacation or your little break, you're like, I need to go back to work because <laughs> right. I got bills to got pay. Got monies to do. <laughs> I think I only had, what, 20 hours of PTO, and I took, what, 24 hours off. So it's like four hours in there that I won't get paid for, but it's whatever. And it'll get my shift differential when I take off, so that's even on top of that. So it's like, Yes, whatever. shift diff does count. Need that shift diff. That 150 <laughs> extra on the hour make a difference. It really does. But, um... It's all good. I, I needed the rest. I needed the days off, so I enjoyed it. Uh, like I said, I can always make it up somewhere else, uh, doing DoorDash or something like that if I need to, if I need to make it up. So, yeah, I don't regret it at all. I'm like, yeah, I needed those five days. I enjoyed myself. Um, how are you doing with your with your quarantine? Are you doing well? Um, I, I'm getting better. <laughs> Definitely. Um. I'm a homebody, like we said last time. We're, we're just exactly. a bunch of homebodies, so it doesn't really bother me that I have to stay home. Um, but, yeah, I, I think for the most part it's just definitely, like, driving out when I'm going to work and everything is, like, closed. Yeah. That's, like, it's, it's like, real creepy because, like, before everything's, like, a lot of people <laughs> are on the roads, people are, like, going to stores, doing, you know, shopping, whatever, and then all of a sudden it's just, like, shut down. Nobody can go out. Yeah, it's weird to see, like, everything closed and having to remember that, oh, things are closing early, like grocery stores closing at 9 o'clock and whatnot, and you got to remember that. There's no getting off work and going to the store anymore. So it's like, well, not for me anyway. I work third shift now. No, and now we have this whole thing where um, I think it's Walmart, Target, and Home Depot are um, limiting the people that are in the stores. Oh, yeah, that's another thing. It started Thursday, limit the amount of people in the stores at a given time. I think Costco's are already kind of doing that, but now like yeah, they're it's making mandated line. now for yeah. like all the grocery stores to abide by that. So, but I think the only plus side that I saw today because I went grocery shopping today um, was there's like at least the food wise, especially on meat, there's like no limit on there anymore. Yeah. I mean, I didn't see a sign on it, so I'm guessing stuff is slowly getting better. But you know, yeah, I think they had to do that. Cause I think I was reading reports of like. There were no shortages on food. It was just that people were buying it up so much that they weren't getting their shipments in before they were selling out of things. So it just looked very bare because everybody was just mass buying everything. So it just, so the shelves looked empty, but they were, you know, assuring us like, no, there's no food shortage in America. It's just that, you know, if we get a shipment of chicken in, and it's gone in two hours. It's like, well, our next shipment will, is not coming in for three days. So it's like, ugh, nothing we can do about it. Yeah. And I wonder if that's still going to happen with, like, the whole toilet paper and paper towels and hand sanitizer. I mean. Yeah, I haven't seen toilet paper on the shelves in a long time. It's yeah. Supplies. I still haven't seen any of that stuff on the shelves in a while. I mean, 
Uh, I went to the grocery store today, so it's what today Saturday. Yeah. And um, there's some stuff that was still kind of like empty. You're just like, okay, but I think it's starting to become the norm of going to grocery stores and seeing stuff that's empty. You're not like yeah, freaking out bad. anymore. Like, oh my god, it's empty, and you know, it was just it's like yeah, a norm. I'm just used to it. But um, we got another whole month of lockdown though. Yes, they extended the lockdown from April 6th through May 1st now. So that's yeah. fun. When I heard May 1st, I was like, if I if we have to postpone our uh, wedding one more time, yeah, I'm gonna raise we'll, some hell. We'll see how it goes because right now it's the way it's looking. Doesn't look like it's slowing down. It looks like it's picking up, and according to them, we haven't even hit our peak yet. They're not looking for peak until like. The end of this month into May, so we'll see. But yeah, other than that, I mean, it's 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 hard to say like what's going on in life and what we're doing when we can't do anything. I know. So it's like, yeah, it's just working home. Like, yeah, that's all it's been. Working home, working home. I do a little DoorDash every once in a while, but yeah, I haven't. There's no extracurricular, nothing. There's no movies. There's no mall. There's no. Oh, I went to wherever the clothes shop, went to the mall. Da, da, da. Like, there's none of that. So it's like, there's nothing really to be like, yeah, I'm going to go out tomorrow. I mean, like, well, we can say one thing that I just started a couple of days ago was watching the Vampire Diaries. Okay, so <laughs> I watched the first season when it first look, look, came look, out. Guys, a disclaimer. She's going to try. She's going to, it's going to sound like she's talking crap about it. But deep down, she's really liking it because <laughs> she would have stopped watching it by now if she wasn't liking it. <laughs> look. So I'm on season four. I finished season three last night or earlier this morning. So now I'm on season four. I watched the first season when it first came out, and I was like, this is so garbage. Like, I'm I'm not watching it. It's like super teen, teeny pop, like drama and vampires and werewolves, and you're just like, ugh. And then go to the second season, I'm just like, some more of that. Third season, I'm like, really? The first beginning of the third season, I'm like, come on, like more of that, like more teen drama love and blah 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 and this and this and i still love him and i love him and i'm like i I can't i can't but um my babe keeps saying that it picks up and gets way better so i'm hoping i mean she keeps expecting the love drama to not to be there and i'm like well that's that's life what show do you watch that doesn't have look love drama like come on okay but at at, at season four we're already there's four seasons it's like four years in the same thing you're just like if she doesn't pick I mean, Ooh, just she graduated going high school. Gosh, give them a chance. They they graduate. <sighs> they still haven't graduated high. They're seniors in high school. Or whatever. They're about to graduate high school. So <sighs> give them a chance. I'm trying to, but you know, Stefan. I'm. I mean, it's been out for a while, so I can remember for you guys. Uh, Stefan. He turns into the. Was it the Reaper? The Ripper. A Ripper. She, she can't her term, her I can't. Right. Whatever. You know, the same thing. You know who I'm talking about, anyway. <laughs> and. You know, he turns into, I'm going to kill everybody, eat everybody. And, ah, and he's like, I, I don't feel anymore. He turns off his, uh, what is his emotions. And, and then it's like a whole big deal about that. And then Elena is like, oh, you, you, you can still do it. I believe in you. I'm like, if y'all don't like cut the crap, let them be evil. Okay. Just let them be evil. No. I know. And then, then now he's like starting to become better and then his brother, and he's like, now his brother's all like a lovey dovey with Elena and saying, I love you. I'm just like, oh. and she's like, I can't decide who I want. Look, though, it does trick you because the characters that you didn't like in the beginning start becoming your favorite. Yeah. Like, who's your favorite brother, Stefan or Damon? Um, I would have to pick, I like both. However, I I I like oh, probably Damien just because. See exactly. Who's your favorite original? Oh. I okay. I don't like Klaus that much. Is it Klaus? Yeah. Klaus. Klaus. Sorry, it's Klaus, guys. It's Klaus. Anyways, um, I still don't like him, but I do. Uh, Rebecca was was growing on me. Told you. Said she's gonna become your favorite original because you feel bad for her because. Yeah. She's really not that evil. She's just been shitted on her whole life. Yeah, basically. Poor so, girl. And then and then what it's about, like What then about then Caroline? You still don't like her? I never had a problem with her. You're the one you who no, no 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 no. You didn't like her. You was like, no, let her die. Just die. Just kill her. Die. 
Did I say that? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that was before she even became a vampire. You're just like, I hope she dies. It's <laughs> like, dang. No, I think that was you who told me that because you were like, no, no. I think you told me that because we were watching. You're like, yeah, I didn't like that. I hope she just died. And I was like, girl, yeah, she should just die. So I agree with you. I mean, she, I, I mean, I feel like she's the one that's like saving everybody, especially, you know, Elena just turned into a vampire, guys. Oh, my God. So that's where we're at. She's a vampire now. And we got Bonnie's black chick still alive after four seasons. So I know. Yeah. Woohoo. <laughs> or starting the first fourth season. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see. Oh, are you spoiling something? No, I'm just saying I didn't want to. Oh. I didn't want to say she got through the fourth season because we you're on like episode two or whatever of the yeah. fourth season. So I didn't want to say like, oh, she's gonna live because then I would be spoiling it. So I don't know. Ooh, dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. So. But yeah, other than that, that's what we've been doing. Rewatching Vampire Diary. We're rewatching for me and watching for her. Yeah. Um, there's really nothing else to do but to catch up on things on Netflix. Ooh, guess what came out? Nailed it. Yeah, it's like one of her favorite shows. It is. I mean, just because, like, uh, I can bake. I'm not the greatest baker, but I can bake. However, I would love to be on that show because some of the people that are on those shows are hilarious. I mean, I feel like something they just put on the show for a reason. Like, I don't feel like they like actually. The, what, what, what was the one dude? The black guy? Yeah, I don't know his name, but he's like, is blazing? No. Was it? Some word he kept using. It started with a B. I can't remember either. Yeah. It's bursting. Oh, there you go. Bursting. Bursting. I was like, so all right, bursting. Guys. I'm like, first, I feel like you don't act like that when you're not yeah, on the show. Yeah, they just told him to play it up a little bit. Yeah. But, I mean, other than that, they that, those treats, I feel bad for the host. <laughs> they have to eat them? They had, and the judges, they have to eat them because I'm like, ooh, I would not eat it. <laughs> so, yeah. Other than that, we really have not been doing anything but... Going to work and coming home because that's all that you can do in this world right now. Um, but I mean, like I said, we're we're enjoying it. It's not like we're miserable or or that we even went out all the time and now we're just like, oh, we can't go out, we can't go to the club or the bar. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. We don't do that anyway. Ooh. So so let's talk about that Drake song that you just showed me like an uh, hour ago. That song was terrible. <laughs> How you feel about it, babe, Mister Music, <sighs> Music Head over it, here? It was very terrible. I mean, I know that he made it just for TikTok just so they can buy it and, and, and pay him a bunch of money to use it and have all of these kids doing his dance. I don't know how TikTok works. I don't know if every time a video gets uploaded with your song, how much money you get, da 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 da, da. I don't know how all that works. I think we should works. make a TikTok, babe, and we should get so mixed up TikTok. No. Come on. So, but, but yeah, it's it's a terrible song. Um, But, I mean, I, as much as I hate it, I'd be like, well, Drake's a, savage. Drake's a genius. Because I'm like... <laughs> He'll get a bunch of money off of this crap, even though it sucks. So he probably made that song in about twenty minutes sitting on the toilet. So Um, yeah, he was he showed me the video and apparently it's his house. And I was like, dude, if I had a house like that, I would never get bored. I would be like, Today, this week I'll live in this side of the house. Next week I'll live in the other side. You know, like he, the dude's house is huge and then he has fireworks just going off at the end of the video. I'm like, What? What? Fireworks at your house. I mean, that's the American dream. <laughs> so, but yeah, I've been. I do wish sports would come back, though. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I can have some sports in my life right now, and it, that would make the quarantine a little less, a little less boring. boring. <laughs> yeah, if you have a little sports, give me some baseball. Still haven't had my Reds. I don't know if they're gonna when they're gonna reschedule the game. I if they're even gonna schedule the game or. So I had to ask for a refund because I could <laughs> definitely use two hundred dollars in my life right now. <laughs> so, <Yeah. laughs> like, I might just ask for a refund because you got your you got your red head your red heads on. Got my red hat on right now. I'm covered his hair that can't be cut at the moment. So, <laughs> I'm telling him to let me cut his hair. He's like, no. She wants me to cut her cut wants me to let her cut my hair, and that's just not gonna happen. Look, the thing is, your I, hair grows fast. Look, look, I did your makeup, cool, but you could just go. You washed that off as soon as it was done. You cut my hair. That's permanent. I can't just. It's only permanent for like a week. Your hair grows no, like. No, no, no. If you screw it up too much and I got to like shave my head. No. I'm telling you, I will just shave your head for you. I don't want you to shave my head. That's not the point. No, I don't want my head shaved. I mean, it would be a nice little buzz on no. the whole head. No. Not going to happen. I, w- I would watch tons of videos for you. Not going <laughs> to happen. <sighs> 
Anyway. Yeah, if you didn't see our video <laughs> on YouTube, check it out. He does yeah, her makeup. I did her makeup and it looked great. It was garbage. <laughs> it's amazing. She looked like a. What did you say? I look like Jennifer Lopez? She yeah. She's mm-hmm. like Jennifer Lopez. Yeah. Well, I look like the. Hooker version. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the hooker version. The hooker version of it, yeah. Yeah. That's what I look like. Um, but yeah, nothing's, nothing's going on and it sucks. Yeah. Because it's like. There's no advances in our lives right now. Oh, man. Now. <laughs> Let's talk about how you just had your heart broken because the JBP is oh, not yeah, coming out. My favorite out. podcast, the Jump Button Podcast. They are on an indefinite hiatus, which is cool. I understand, you know, them not wanting to keep congregating um, with all of this going on. Um, it's easy for us because we live together. Yeah. We're in our house. But for them to have to get together every day and not every day, but twice a week, and you know. So I understood. Um, it will make my Wednesdays and Saturdays very boring, but <laughs> I get it though. I get it. it it's now as you have to definitely be in quarantine, babe. Yeah, we're in now, lockdown. Now I feel. Now I feel it because like, <laughs> that's one of the things that I indulge in heavily, and it's not around anymore. So now I'm just like, oh man, quarantine. So yeah. yeah, I'm definitely feeling it now. But, um. It's funny. I'm going to try to make a phone call, you guys. I'm going to try to get my sister on the horn. Dun, dun, dun. But, you know, the likelihood of her answering the phone is slim to none. But let's try it. Ooh, it's ringing. Look at me being all fancy fool. Watch her not answer. <laughs> and then she'll listen to this on Monday and be like, "Oh, I didn't answer the phone." We'll have to call her twice, you know. Get a two-time call. This is Lydia Israel. Come on, Lydia. Hello, this is Lydia. <laughs> tisk, tisk, tisk. Get to the, the second phone call, you know. She's terrible. I bet she's not even doing anything. She's watching a movie probably or eating popcorn. (laughs) Of course she's not going to answer. Watch, she's going to call us at the end of her pod. Mm -hmm. Watch, as soon as we like end the podcast, she's going to call back and we're like, hey, you call? Yeah, I'm hanging up. Ooh, who else can we call to be on our pod? I can't think of anybody right now. You're you're Mr. Magic over here. You got a whole bunch of contacts. <laughs> 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 I got like 60. I'm like, that's cool. 60 I people. Got, let me see. I got 77, so I don't have that many more to use. Who can we call? Let's call Kyra. Who is she at work, though? Nah, she ain't at work. Let's call her. I know she'll be. Yeah, I'll call her. And she'll likely actually answer. Hello. Yo. What's up? <laughs> when you sound like you were asleep. No, I'm just hot shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I should I should have started with this. Says, hey, this is Joshua Israel from the Soul Mixed Up Podcast. <laughs> you live on you, the air. You live on the <laughs> air. What's oh, up? Shit. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'm hot as shit. <laughs> So we're going to re- redact it. Her name is a uh, little ugly dude from <laughs> down the street. <laughs> y'all, do, y'all do terrible fucking business. <laughs> I ain't know you're going to just hop on the horn like that. <laughs> I just answered the phone like, yeah. Because <laughs> you're like, I thought it was a man at first. was like, yo. I was like, who the hell is this? <laughs> who the hell she got around her, her house? <laughs> But I was sitting over like, what the fuck? Like, he don't never call. Me. Like, I know. what do we want? <laughs> <laughs> no, because we tried to call his sister, and sister didn't pick up. So I was like, call answer. Kyra. She always answers her phone. No, I don't always answer my phone. Lies. You always on your you phone. When I call. <laughs> I don't always on my phone. You are. Uh, if you don't uh, answer, I know you definitely dug me. Because like, you always got that phone <laughs> in your head. <laughs> I don't want to stop on my couch. Y'all got me on this air. Y'all not talking to me about nothing. Hell now, nah. what you doing? You work today? Yeah, I went to work. Yeah. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. It's so boring. How's quarantine treating you? 
Um, well, that ain't shit going on. They, you know they cutting our ass. I don't know what's up. I know, they, right? They cut yours? Yeah, they cut mine. Um, instead of making me come in two hours early, they have them, they just gonna take a day away. Okay, okay. So, I have two days off or three days off during the week or something like that. Man. That shit is stupid. Yeah, you need to, you need to pick back up immediately because ain't nobody trying to work less hours. Yeah, shit ain't going to pick back up until like June or July, depending on how long this shit lasts. I'm over it at this point. Oh, did you watch that T-Pain and Lil John battle? Nah, I didn't. Was it live? I, watched, I think some of them. I didn't see those things. Well, you say one. But Lil John definitely won at the end. Because yeah. he played turned up for what? Let me turn down. Oh for yeah, what? it's over after that. Yeah, you can't tell like, that. <laughs> I'm just getting ready for this uh Teddy rally and uh Babyface. Oh, that shit's gonna be. That's what I'm waiting on. Well, I gotta see what time that come on. I don't even want to miss it. And my, I think come on like around. Don't come on like at nine, like our time. Probably nine. Yeah, it's most most up. of the battles be at nine, so I would say assume that. What y'all recording today? Nothing. Why just, y'all recording so late? I don't know. We always end up recording late. I don't know why. We've been in the house all damn day. <laughs> like, there's no reason why <laughs> yeah, we're recording at 11:30. Like, it's, it's no reason at all. Yeah, oh. <laughs> I mean, my, record at 11:30 at night and call somebody. Look, my <laughs> excuse is I work every other weekend, so that's my excuse. I don't want to hear it. We still been home all day though. We could have recorded at any time. Who fell asleep? Yep. Uh, let's talk about who left me waiting. Whatever. Didn't answer his phone. Listen, listen, I, <laughs> I was supposed to meet her at the car place this morning, right? But she was supposed to go there at 8 o'clock. Or she was supposed to, yeah, her appointment was at 8 o'clock. So I set my alarm for 8 o'clock, like, all right, you get there. By the time you get there and talk to the dude and da-da-da-da-da, I'll be on my way. So my alarm go off at 8 o'clock. I look over. She knocked out. I'm like, hey, ain't your appointment at 8? She's like, yeah. I'm like, well, it's 8 o'clock now. And then she jumps up and, oh, my God, I got to get ready. And she's rushing around. I doze back off. I ain't wait back up to about ten. I got 10 like thirty. I got like ten missed calls, hella texts. Like, babe, where you at? Uh, I'm here. Uh, <laughs> and she's like, I'm going to Kroger. <laughs> and she's like, I'm back from Kroger. My car is ready now, so never mind. I was like, oh, my, my bad. <laughs> I called her back. Like, you oh, left me. Uh, you uh, left you me. still need me? She was just like, no, don't worry about it. Yeah, I'm gonna talk up with you. <laughs> 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 I was knocked. I woke up. I knew. I knew hella time had passed too. You know that that one sleep when you just you accidentally yeah. doze off. I woke back up. I was like, bro, I know hella time passed. I I checked my phone. Sap. It said like ten some. I had hella missed calls. I was like, oh, she mad as hell. Yeah, that, when you get that second, when you get that second wave of sleep, boy, that's the best sleep you, you ever got. Up, that's, 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 man, listen, I did that shit one time, but I went to sleep. I had woke up, motherfucker called me on the phone talking. So I'm like, she was like, I'm gonna call you back. I'm like, all right, cool. I went when I say I was dead to the world, I was dead to the world. I she called me back, she was like, You need to wake up. I'm like, What time is it? You told me what time I had to literally jump up out of my seat and get ready for work. I was like, Yo, Bro, this was up to me, I just wanna stay asleep. You feel me? I done that at children's hella times, like Darlena called me in the morning and like Eight o'clock. As soon as the phone ring, I already know. I'm like, Oh shit, I'm supposed to be <laughs> at work and I just woke up. I'd be like, yeah, 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 I'm on my way, I'm on my way. Knowing damn well, I'm about to still hop in the shower, <laughs> do my little <laughs> shit. Like, I ain't about to just come to work. Like, I got to take a shower. Like, yeah, I'm on my way. Yeah, 45 minutes, shit. <laughs> Man, it hey, used to be late all the time. Man, especially when I picked up morning shifts. I never was on time for a morning shift. <laughs> I just can't. I can't be there at 6 o'clock in the morning. That's ridiculous. Funny. Like, there's, there's the double big night. Yeah, I don't know. Like when I saw, when I first started that price, uh, I was always fucking late, like always, because I couldn't get. I had to get used to that change, like because I wasn't working for right. a minute, and like because I was on vacation, and then when it was time for my vacation was up, they started me late. I'm like, oh yeah, see, I'm used to waking up whenever I fucking feel like it. Yeah, that was me because when I first started that price, because I was going, I was either two to ten thirty or. Yeah, I was 2 to 10.30 for, like, the longest, for like years, for, like, four years. And then to go from that to, oh, now I got to be there at 10 in the morning or 10.30 or 11.30 or yeah. 1 o'clock. Like, I was always late clocking in. Like, 
I was happy as hell when they um brought that grace period in because you know when we first started we ain't had no grace period it was like yeah. if you was a minute late you was late that was an occurrence that, was that was ridiculous I was like man I'm not used to having to wake up at 8 o'clock in the morning be at work at 10 and I'm like Mm-mm. I used to go to sleep whenever I wanted woke up whenever I wanted like I'm not waking up past 11 o'clock so I'm cool like I stayed late when I first started at Christ I think everybody was late when they first started. Like, <laughs> That's why they had to get the grace late. period because they was having to fire yeah. too many people for being late for a minute. Like, damn, it's a minute. It's eleven thirty one. Like, give me a break. <laughs> like shit. I used to come in. I used to clock in first and then get ready for work. <laughs> and then I just figured out like, all right, I can give. Like, I know I can get her earlier than this. Right. So I can still have time to do, to do the, get all ready. the things I need to do. Like, It'd be bad, like, even now, like, I'd be last minute, like, and I, it, for no reason, like, I'd be at home chilling, it would be, like, 6 o'clock, like, shit, let me get in the shower, like, why for am no I taking a shower at 6 o'clock, like, I'd be home all day, like, there's no reason why I'm rushing right now. Go to work at 7 p.m., absolutely no reason right, for you to be late. i like, 6.40, I'd be doing, like, 90 and on the highway, like. You don't to like, 7.05. Because <laughs> <laughs> I clock in, I gotta go to the locker to get my keys, get my binder, it didn't come through the door, it's like. I'd be like, that's why I'd be rushing through. Like, what up, y'all? What up, y'all? What up, y'all? <laughs> Got a hair right out to the front. Like, <laughs> no damn well, I'm late as hell. <laughs> then he rushed to the front and then in the back for like 20 minutes talking to me. <laughs> yeah, after I get done with them uh, counting that bank and all of that, then I come to the back like, all right, now I can talk. What's up? <laughs> I'm situated now. <laughs> what y'all niggas been doing all day? Nigga, work. <laughs> <laughs> what y'all up to? You see it? <laughs> like, We've been here seven hours. What you talking about? <laughs> Like, nigga, go, like, go back to the front. Oh, man. This shit is funny. I need some high to come down. Like, <laughs> fucking terrible. Yeah, you do. You sleep it off. Sleep it off. <laughs> night, night. Yeah, I, ain't, I ain't got no choice but to sleep it off. And I just took my medicine, so I'm going to have me a nice little sleep. You're going to wake up at, like, 9 o'clock. I, now I can't wait to go to sleep. I'm going to have to. Yeah, I'm going to have to. <laughs> you ever been like so happy to go to sleep you don't know what to do man you hit that bed like be smiling going to sleep like <laughs> yeah. I waited for this all day that's why I want to say why people are so mad about the quarantine shit right? like what I want love to lay down for no reason like this shit right. is fun to me if I had one of them jobs that they laid me off and I was still getting paid I'm like bro I'm about to get my whole life together right quick <laughs> <laughs> Like, I'm about to get my whole life together. Like, I'm about to fucking sit up here and get my whole life together. I'm going to sleep like a motherfucker. <laughs> and fuck, I ain't got to do shit. I'm still sleeping. I can't sleep that much. I'd be, I'd drive myself crazy if I slept too much. Yeah. I just like to sleep. I feel like sleep is a part of my, it's a part of me. If I can't sleep, what's the point? What's life? It's a life of sleep. Life. Like I live to sleep. What you yeah, talking about? Yeah. But shit. Yeah, shit. All right, take your butt to sleep. Yeah, Bye. Peace <laughs> out, y'all. All right. <laughs> hey, surprise! Episode will be out Monday at six AM on Spotify. You check it out. Oh, All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, that's my friend, little ugly dude from down the street because she incriminated herself so much. I don't want to say her name no more. I know. So, <laughs> but um, but she could have been high off her medicine. She takes medication. You know, it doesn't have to be you know Mary Jane. Could have been her medication. That's what we're going with. It was her medication. <laughs> mm-hmm. She said, I got to take my medication. I'm high as F, and then I got to take my medication. I'm trying to save it. You ran it back. <laughs> you the boys. <laughs> I'm trying to save it and clean it up, and then she going to put the real on front. Like, come on now. I speak real mm. only. Thank mm. you very much. Mm. Anyway. Mm. Don't, mm, mm. 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 Anyway. And I didn't go get a fix. I know I've been having this cavity for a while. But the last dentist appointment I went to was so miserable. It's when we first started dating, I think. Yeah, yep, exactly. Probably like a month after we started dating, I went to the dentist. Yeah. And I took him to the dentist. Such a good girlfriend. 
pat myself on the back. <laughs> and it was it was a miserable experience. It was so painful and it didn't go well. So I've kind of been afraid to go back ever since. So I've just been putting it off, putting it off, putting it off. And this one tooth has gotten worse and worse and worse. He thinks he's a thug, guys. I'm just saying that, putting that out there. Listen, I am, but. <laughs> not when it comes to teeth. It's not my fault. Novocaine <laughs> don't work on me. <laughs> it's not my fault. It's the way my body is made, Novocaine doesn't have that great of an effect on me. So, but I mean, I've always felt pain at the dentist. I've always felt a little pain here and there. But I just grin and bear it. But this time I was getting a root canal. So I guess I've never had them drill that deep into my tooth to get to the root. And it was just sharp pains in my root, in my nerve. Not my root, in my nerve. So it was too many sharp pains. And then I kept <laughs> grabbing it in his hand. He was getting mad. After the last time, I was like, oh, you got to start grabbing my hand. Are we going to just have to stop? That's BS to me because you can't just stop once you don't drill to my nerve. You can't just be like, all right, go home. No, my nerve is exposed now, so you have to fix my tooth. <laughs> I would have sued him. <laughs> I would have been like, you're getting sued now. But I'm like, so that was a miserable experience. So I've just been putting it off, putting it off, putting it off. Now this tooth is so far gone that my nerve is basically exposed and it just hurts. But this isn't what, what's been bothering me today. So today I'm like eating some B-dubs. I'm just eating and I bite down and I felt like a hard whatever. It was painful. And I was like, whoa, okay, like what was that? I'm like, oh, whatever. So I kind of chew gingerly. And I'm like, okay, cool. So now I take another, 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 another bite. And I, all of a sudden I'm chewing and I'm like, I feel something hard. And I felt like my tongue scrape across my tooth and it's like jagged. I'm like, I was like, did my tooth just freaking break? <laughs> so I spit it out. It's a big old hunk of my tooth. And I'm like, Margarita's like, no, that's not your tooth. Like, no, that is my freaking tooth. <laughs> I was trying to be like, no, it's like a cartilage. Cause I bit down into one of my wings and I had like bit down into some cartilage. And I was like, this is just gross. And I don't know what's going on with B-dubs. But this is like the third time we've gotten B-dubs in two different locations, I think, right? Or three. I don't know. Okay, anyways. <laughs> but they're, they're different locations, and each time I have B-dubs, my wings are gross. So I've been under the cartilage, and I'm the type of person, like, once you're, you bite into something, you can't really, I can't eat the food again. So I'm just like, all right, I'm grossed out. So I stop eating my wings. He bites it. I'm like, yeah, it's a cartilage, right? And he's like, like no, no that's it's my, my tooth. tooth. <laughs> and I'm like, what? So, so, I'm, no. so he shows me his tooth. I look at it. And I'm like, let me see. He's like, no. He's like, I'm going to a liquid diet and I'm going to work out. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And it made it. I was like, what's going on? He's like, I'm just going to go to liquid diet. I was, no food for me. I'm like, first yes. of all, you can't beat me in this weight loss journey together. It's not even about weight loss. It's just about. <laughs> My teeth keep breaking out of my damn mouth. <laughs> That's what this I'm is telling about. you, we'll just pull them all out and get you some dentures. <laughs> no. I just need to get, I want to go to a freaking dentist, but all the dentists in the world are closed. And Coronavirus. So I called her dentist like a couple weeks ago. And they're like, yeah, we're closed at least until April 6th. It was a voicemail. And, but now that they extended that um, stay at home order till May 1st, I'm assuming they're probably going to be closed some more. But I will call them Monday. And just see if they're going to be open or not so I can schedule another appointment. But even when they open back up, I know they're going to have to probably fill in all the people who probably had appointments before they closed, before they even start accepting new appointments. So I just got a feeling it's going to be just a couple more months of, like, not being able to get into a dentist. I'm going to have to find an emergency dentist or go to a hospital that has an emergency dentist on call or whatever. But, yes, so my teeth are just in shambles but it's all good Look, i still got my chompers i won't <laughs> lie i hurt a little bit but um yeah i don't know what's going on with my teeth it's ridiculous like there was nothing wrong with that tooth it was no pain in that tooth nothing and then it just broke i was like are you serious i think it was the old feelings from back in the day because after a while them feelings just freaking pop out yeah and old school feelings that it's you got. funny because they had to be like oh no it's just because you have cavities I'm like no they fixed it the first time. I'd be flossing and brushing. It no, you're, yeah. They just did a crappy work on my tooth. I'm like, cause it's definitely a tooth that I can see I had work on in the past. Cause I'm like, I had nothing wrong with that tooth. No pain, no cavity, no sensitivity, nothing. And I'm just eating boneless chicken wings and my tooth breaks. So I'm like, what the hell? So, yes, that is what's going on in my life. <laughs> but yes, I'm gonna start working out tomorrow. Okay. I'm looking at her crazy. You gonna work out with me? 
Look, y'all can't see my face, but if you can see my face through this mic, he's getting the mean mug you with the arrow. didn't answer the question. Yes, I'm going to work out. All right, then. That's the answer, then. Just Dang. say yes. Jeez. Ooh, let me get off this recording. Ooh, mm-hmm. you just wait. Mm-hmm. Boom. Boom. Straight to the moon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to let you have that. That's from my old. That's okay. It's, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You know, explain it real good. Anyway, nobody's gonna be like, "What the heck did you just say?" Mm-hmm. Nah, I didn't think. Oh no, we got smart. Su- we got smart supporters out there. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah. So I'm definitely gonna start working out, getting it together. Definitely gonna be on an all liquid diet, <laughs> 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 or I'm mostly. I'm not eating nothing hard. I'm I'm over it. Everything I eat is gonna be soft. Uh, baby soft. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna start buying baby food instead. <laughs> Please, shoot. <laughs> I'm not eating nothing hard. I'm so I'm tired of these teeth in my mouth. I'm just gonna uh, blend had, your food. <laughs> if I had the money, I'd just get them all pooed and get some ve- and get some veneers, but I ain't got the money for that. Not yet. Yeah, that's why you guys need to listen to this podcast. So yeah, we can come get, on. So we can get some money so I can get my teeth fixed. <laughs> I gotta get some stuff fixed too. Man, but yeah, I can't wait to the dentist open back up. I'm gonna just grin and bear. If I can find one that could put me down and just fix everything, like just okay. Hold on, recap that. <laughs> you gotta say something to put you down. Yeah, someone to put me down and just fix <laughs> all my teeth at one time, so I don't have to keep going back and keep getting. Da, 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 da. The no. listeners are gonna be like, "Man, he wants to get put down." They know what I mean. <laughs> so yeah, I gotta get that together because me and these teeth are gonna. I don't know. Just Die staying, together. Just staying in my mouth. <laughs> if, if I can avoid not to get a tooth pulled, I definitely will. Um, but yeah, I'm just hoping that these dentists open back up and I can get these teeth fixed because it's getting kind of difficult to eat now. I'm, I'm running out of places to chew. So <laughs> you, you gotta be like <laughs> running me. out of size to chew on. You got to be like me and chew with your front teeth like this. <laughs> yeah, I'm, running, I'm definitely running out of size to chew on. <laughs> I was doing the left side because the right side has that freaking gaping hole in my tooth. I'm like, all right, I'll chew on the left side. Then the left side started getting messed up. Now I broke a tooth on the left side. I'm like, all right. But, yeah, that's what I'm going to be working toward. (laughs) Getting my teeth fixed and getting my body right. Right and tight. I don't know about all that. But getting it right, right, though. Um, So, yeah, I'm definitely going to start working out. Um, starting tomorrow, try to get three days a weekend. I know. Look, you say this now because my else. your mother in law is gonna be like, I heard Joshua Israel. He said he gonna work out, and then he, I'm gonna be like, Yeah, mom, get get on him. Tell him he need to work out. Do teach any class. Go walk outside. And then she gonna be like, You better work out too, cause he gonna get skinnier than you. Yeah, exactly. That's what she be saying. Uh-huh. She's saying I'm gonna lose weight, and she's not. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> how that goes. Yeah. So yeah, my I'm, mom's I'm Hispanic, to, and that's how Hispanic people go. I'm about to get it together, so you can either get with it or get or, or I don't know. I lost my train of thought. It's okay. So yeah, um, I don't know. So what is, what's your plans for the weekend? What are your goals? I got no goals. Got no life. <laughs> got school and work. No goals. Nah. You trying to lose weight, work out, nah. get better. Right. <laughs> Just me, guys. So I'm be losing weight then. Uh, You'll be seeing me getting nice and fit. Six pack coming in, you know. Six pack of beer. <laughs> nah, just two pack of beer. I can't, I can't drink that much beer. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that is my goals and what I'm going to accomplish. I got nothing but time. Can't do nothing else. So I'm gonna just be. I got time. Waking up, working out, probably doing some DoorDash. So I can pay for these teeth, <laughs> and uh, yeah. Not doing any overtime on my job. Yay. But I'm thankful to have a job. I know a lot of people don't have a job. So, yeah, no. I can't complain too much about not getting overtime at my job. So. Shout out to the healthcare workers. All of yeah, them. Not just the nurses and the doctors. In the front line. Anybody who's in food service. Uh, anybody that's having to be face-to-face with people in this time. Yep. <laughs> Cashiers. Yeah. Baggers, cart getters. <laughs> yeah, anybody that's still working. Um, I know we're all thankful that we're still working, but you know, we'd rather not to work in a hospital for sure. But you know, I think they're they're I don't know they're trying to protect us, but you don't even know 
you might freaking touch a wall and catch it. <laughs> Ridiculous. Yeah. So we'll see though. Yeah, I think that's it. I think that's our pop. That's our shout th- today. You think that's it? Yeah. We'll start doing better, start jotting down things that happen. Yeah, we're going to be like, we're going to make a um, a topic. A topic sheet of like what topics we want to touch on so we're not just rambling too much. Um, But yeah, hopefully next week we can get our my sister on the horn. I had to, I was going to surprise her and put on her horn, but then she doesn't answer her phone. So I have to tell her like, hey, look, Saturday we're going to call you. Just to make it happen. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, so that's all. I think we're done. Yeah. Um, as always, stay safe out there. Um, stay in the house. Don't go out unless you have to. Workers who are having to work, stay safe out there. Um, watch what you touch. Wash your hands. Wash your ass. <laughs> um, yeah, just be safe out there, guys. Yeah. All right, y'all. We out.